the voice means a lot to me. I understand what injustice is like and I get quite emotional when I talk about it because I can't bear the thought of this referendum not not passing. So I read up a bit on Sri Lanka and they're big producers of mangoes. Because of your Tamil heritage, I've gotten you a mango tea. Love it. With mango jelly and mango popping pearls. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Can you do that for me? <laughs> Thank you. You just really gotta cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. First year in Parliament, how would you rate yourself out of 10? I don't know about rating myself, but I can rate the experience. I would say it's been a 10. It's actually a lot more professional than I thought it would be. When I came in here, I thought it would all be about, you know, salacious gossip and late night parties. And it's been nothing of the sort. Maybe a tough question next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're negotiating a deal. Who would you like on your team? Opposition leader, Peter Dutton, <laughs> or the Nationals leader, David Littleproud? <laughs> I don't have any confidence that either of those two blokes can influence. So neither of them are going to make it to my table. I want to ask you about this picture over here. You said mm. that it's quite special for you as well. Can you tell me a bit about it? I love this picture because of the symbolism to me. One, the Prime Minister's there and hes you can see in his face, you know, that fatherly impression is there. I'm doing a big fist pump because I'm like so happy. The gun has been fired, the election's on. Standing next to the Prime Minister is one of my close friends, Senator Jana Stewart. And Jana Stewart is a First Nations person. He's flanked by two women of colour two Labour women, women who are strong and who believe in their convictions. The voice means a lot to me. I understand what injustice is like and I get quite emotional when I talk about it because I can't bear the thought of this referendum not, not passing. What would it say to my friend like Jana Stewart? What would she take home? The only message she will hear is that we don't care about our First Peoples and that's not who we are. That's a division and I have to go to the chamber. Oh, right. What is it like being a woman of colour in Parliament? You know, I've encountered through my life more headwinds than um, tailwinds. Having gone through those experiences, it's, it's actually probably made me better suited for an adversarial contest like politics. Do you think Australians are still worried about queue jumpers and boat people? I don't like that language and I never use it. Um, these are asylum seekers and it's perfectly okay to seek asylum. I think by and large Australians do not want to see people risking their lives on boats and I share that view. I know that might come as a shock to some people given my cultural heritage. There are much more orderly ways of coming to this country and we want to support that. I suspect it's sweet because it's got high fructose corn syrup. Mm. It's really bad for you. But anyway, okay, maybe we should really finish these. <laughs>